Nelson. Good gravy. A radio host. Found myself two million short of a millionaire. Barely understandable. Gee, Monetti. We can rebuild him. Guy's bright as a napkin. We have the technology. You gotta work with design, vision, and focus. Better than he was before. It's not lonely in my head. Funnier. I'm staring at a bowl of spaghetti trying to figure out which two ends come together. More informative. Characters defined by what you do once you screw up, not if you make mistakes along the way. And just as sarcastic. You sausage. Oh, come on! Give us 60 minutes and we'll give you Nelson Radio every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. on KTLK AM 1150. With 29 years in the mortgage business and an array of top-level guests visiting the show, Nelson is in a unique position to bring you cutting-edge information on real estate, business, finance, and law. If you have any questions for Nelson or any of his guests, give him a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or check him out online at nelsonradio.com. Nelson Radio. Welcome back. You're listening to Nelson Radio. I'm Nelson, and I'm with my special guest host, Jesse Pagano, returning to us, giving us wise counsel from Keller Williams in the South County and also a resident expert in those coastal communities. And I uh, wanted to introduce Thomas Wozniak from Century 21 Discovery. This segment brought to you by Best Chauffeured. They brought us up here. We arrived early. What a comfortable drive. It was easy. Great service. If you need limousine transportation services, text the word LIMO to 313131. And we also want your comments and questions from today's show. You can give Jesse or I a call at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. Or connect to us on the web at nelsonradio.com. So, Thomas, welcome to the show. Hi, Tom. Thank Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Hey, glad to have you here. And Jesse and I wanted to look at your market. You're primarily up in the North Orange County market and in the in the estate segment. Correct. And so many people think of the estate properties, the luxury properties that are along the beach and whatnot. But North Orange County has plenty of luxury and estate properties. Absolutely. And so, what do you find in terms of uh, sales prices? Are prices pushing up on these estates? Prices are definitely uh, coming up steady. Um, You're just we're faced with right now with uh, lack of inventory. Uh, but uh, no, prices are coming up. And the lack of inventory, it's a, it's a problem that's throughout the state of California. And it's, this is something that we're going to ask on in our uh, later segment. But asking the question, is there still an inventory with lenders that hasn't been released? And it seems pretty divided uh, answers to that. As I canvass the marketplace, some people say, no, the inventory has gone. There is no shadow inventory. And others are absolutely steadfast that there's hundreds of thousands of properties that haven't been released. For the past uh, probably two or three years, I've heard the same thing. Uh, we still haven't seen it, and they still say we expect it, but we haven't seen it yet. So tell us a little bit about your business practice. I mean, obviously, uh, you do carry the, you tow the line in terms of working with integrity, working with efficiency. But Correct. one thing that, that I saw uh, as we were actually, as we were writing up here in terms of good old fashioned door knocking. Absolutely. Uh, and again, going back to not having. Uh, the inventory, I actually will go find it. Um, I do have, being a listing agent and a buyer's agent, um, I do door knock for my buyers, uh, which until it gets me the sellers. Um, but I do have a few recent ones that I've actually door knocked uh, and actually satisfied both buyer and seller. Very happy. What's that really like? I mean, I, I don't do that, obviously. and, and But I, I've often wondered, you know, you're going neighborhood street by street, door to door, literally, are people friendly, welcoming? Are they loading the shotgun when they see you walking up the sidewalk? I've only heard one shotgun. No, I was kidding. Uh, I love it. That's I think that's my um, specialty, door knocking. Um, I haven't had anybody actually come after me. Um, a lot of open arms. I've mm-hmm. been invited in, cup of coffee, if you want to see my house, et cetera, and landed a listing. So it really, truly really works. In today's marketplace, without the inventory, uh, how else can you find properties? My only way is the actual door knocking or yeah. advertising. Yeah. I do do some advertising, but a lot of it's, uh, you know, by foot. I love the old-fashioned uh, face recognition. There's other challenges in our industry, and one of them 
is clearly the lending community. I don't want to bash my own marketplace, but <laughs> Jesse, do you wrestle with lenders? Well, yeah, it is. It is a challenge because um, we see that there is uh, still lenders that are not as experienced in packaging the 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 loan completely upfront. I would say, and um, do you see that too, Thomas? In your all the time, and I do. Uh, yeah. You know, and that's the biggest problem. I, you know, you were talking about uh, how you prep your buyers so mm-hmm. that they have the right set of expectations, and it's really no different in the lending industry. There's, there's uh, nobody can get around today's lending process. It's it's complex. It's compliance Very heavy. Complex. And getting the, I mean, our theme is to get the questions answered before they're asked, so that we don't have this hurry up and wait kind of process. Right. And that's you have that, to anticipate what the underwriter is going to ask for. Correct. Correct. And it's in that anticipation where you're telling the story as well, so that uh, just like you have to present your buyer's highest and best, we do Mm -hmm. the same thing in the mortgage industry in terms of presenting those strengths, Mm -hmm. underscoring why this is a sound decision, and then uh, having that supporting documentation in place. I think in our industry, not to bash on the young bucks that are coming up, but so many of them are undertrained. And I even look back to when I started in the industry, it was somebody that handed me a stack of cards and said, go get them. The world's your oyster kind of a thing. I didn't know what I was doing then. (laughs) So do you have the same issues in dealing with the lending community? I do. I do. A lot of right now, uh, getting the initial um, lender approval is simple, but getting towards the end uh, with the final uh, underwriting has been a challenge. And uh, it could be anything from curing a few things on the home to curing a few things on the uh, the buyer side. So let me ask you both this question, because you, uh, when you receive offers, now that you, uh, let's say, are on the listing side, and those offers all come with that pre-approval statement or pre-qualification letter, is there any merit in those, or do you go, all right, hold on, now we got to start digging? It, within the first day, if, if once, upon, once we have the acceptance from the seller, um, I call the lender the next day, and I personally speak to their uh, loan officer to just get a, a better uh, feel for mm-hmm. uh, the seriousness of you know the approval. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes I need to dig further or uh, get a second uh, lender uh, for backup. Is that a standard practice of having a second lender look at all of these? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Every yeah. single time. Yeah. I don't want to hear that, but I guess that's today's reality. It's the only way you can ferret out what, what's I mean, going to actually take place. Not on all lenders. I, I'm just backing up a little bit. Not on all lenders. Uh, it just It's a comfort level. Yeah. There's a lot of new loan uh, lenders out there. You're listening to Nelson Radio. This uh, segment brought to you by Best Chauffeured, worry-free and on-time limousine transportation services worldwide. You can reach us direct at 888-888-2136. That's 888-888-2136. I wanted to throw one more question here in this segment, and that is the the volume of renters. As we came out of the Great Recession or are coming out of the Great Recession, uh, there's so many people that lost their homes, moved into the renter market. Are they going to stay put as renters or are they going to come back into the marketplace? They're going to come back. You know, It just depends on uh, which area they uh, had gone through, whether it's foreclosure or short sale. Everyone I'm helping right now uh, that went through short sale they knew they know the date of the month uh, that they're going to buy, and I'll be there. But uh, yeah, they're not going to stay put. And so there's clearly that motivation to own again because oh, you know you look on the renter side of the fence, and that is uh, simply people that that are now going. Gosh, I don't have to worry about something that broke. I don't have to worry about maintaining this. I just make a phone call and it's fixed for me. There's some certain attributes, but your your message is they're coming back in. It's the American dream. You know, it's everybody wants to be a homeowner. And uh, it was some difficult times for a lot of people. And they will be back. Thomas Wozniak from Century 21 Discovery, focusing his attention out in North County and also uh, moving into the uh, coastal areas in Newport Beach. You can reach us direct at 888 This segment brought to you by Best Chauffeur. Text the word limo to 313131. And we're going to come right back, attack some of the headlines, and also the famed Coach Herrick is going to be with us in Coach's Corner. 